What's good, YouTube? <clears throat> it's a course of Earth and Prophecy. And, um, you know, YouTube decided to give me, uh, YouTube decided to take my video down. Uh, now I know why people don't necessarily show, you know, uh, the video. Um, whenever, I mean, whatever you reacting to on TV because of, you know, uh, like I said, they play music in the background a lot and, you know, so next time, you know, you'll just be seeing my face, um, and I'll just do play by play, I guess. Um, but, um, what I wanted to talk about today was, um, you know, the music industry and how, you know, it's, you know, cursed. Not even cursed. Um, it's more of, um, satanic, you know, satanic, satanic. Uh, behavior, you know, um, you have a whole bunch of, you know, quote unquote, you know, um, queer people, I'm not going to say the word, I'm not going to say the G word, you have a whole bunch of queer people in the industry, um, low key, that is queer, um, you also have a lot of, you know, Santanic uh, rituals, uh, you have a lot of, um, you know, female, well, you have a lot of males that have, that, that plays, you know, you know, I mean, you have a lot of males that play a lot of female roles, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, especially Bow Wow, uh, Chris Brown, um, you know, Birdman, you know what I'm saying? In his relationship with Little Wayne. Um, you know, when Bear, when, when, I think later when he was just extra high in that interview, where he actually said that, you know, Little Wayne, I mean, Birdman had his way with me, you know? I mean, he said, I've been doing this thing since I was five years old, youngin'. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and then, you know, the whole, you know, crew of Hot Boys, you know, Turk, FBG, uh, I mean, actually not FBG, BD, uh, BG, uh, Juvenile, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole crew explained their side of the story on, you know, what, you know, Birdman did for them, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, it, feel, it looked like Little Wayne got the end of the stick, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, but what I think about it, man, I, listen, man. A lot of things go. A lot of things do go down in the industry. Uh, we we don't know about behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? There is a lot of parties that they go to, and uh, you know these are like secretive, lucrative, lucrative, you know, parties that nobody is in. Like nobody can't enter unless you down unless you get down like that. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, I mean, they do and they can't find ways to, you know, make you out of the picture. You know, you know, same way they did Tupac, same way they did Biggie, same day, same way they did, uh, you know, Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? The same way they try to frame, you know, DMX. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, but, you know... Look at DMX now, you know, DMX is, you know, not in the news as much, he's, like, literally, I guess he actually gave up, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, before that, he was all, you know what I'm saying, like, if, if you see him now, you'll see how chubby and fat he got, I mean, I don't know if he, I don't know if they were sticking his ass with freaking needles and shit, deep bulb. Botox, whatever you want to call it, but that dude don't even look the same. You know, if you compare his 90s picture versus him now, like, his whole face is puffed up and shit. Like, I mean, but, you know, um, you know, things happen for a reason, you know? Um, 
you know, we sometimes don't want to question it because, you know, we always wanted to live that lime life, you know, we always wanted to live that, you know, that high life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, not a lot of people, you know, live it. Some do, you know, that's why you have all these people out here trying to be rappers and stuff, up and coming rappers and stuff like that, you know, like I think they just end it for the money, to be honest with you, the fame and the money, you know what I'm saying? Like they can give two craps if their if their album is trash or if their music is trash, you know what I'm saying? As long as they have millions and billions of fans, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's never going to matter to them, you know? It's never going to matter to them because they know they got money, you know? Uh, it goes for musicians, athletes. You know, politics, they all in the same bubble. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like, it, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about it. But, you know, if you really put two to two together, you know, I mean, who knows? You know, maybe Birdman was, was sexually abused when he was a child. You know what I'm saying? By his, you know, uncles and uh, nephews. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. You know what I'm saying? You never know, you know, because we have a lot of incidents like that, you know, where, you know, even Cameron, you know, even Cameron said that he was, you know, molested at a young age by his, by his, you know, family members. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when Mace, <laughs> when Mace actually told, uh, you know, when Mace said that he, <laughs> he was having sex with your own sister. When it was beefing back and forth, like, at the time, when I heard that, I was like, wow, for real. But when you really look at Cameron, he comes off, you know, a little bit girlyish. You know what I'm saying? Like, he comes off a little bit feminist. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I mean, it is what it is, though. Um, you know? You're going to make it until you fake it, you know? Um, and that's a quote that I, that I learned from an old friend of mine, you know? That you're going to fake it until you make it, basically meaning that you're going to be... You, like, you're going to fake your whole image just to make it. You're going to you're gonna send out lies. You're going to say a whole bunch of shit that don't even sound right to the audience, to the public audience, but, you know, for him, he has to make it sell, because if he goes out there and he says some idiotic stuff, are y'all gonna buy it, are y'all gonna say, okay, yeah, he's bluffing, oh, yeah, 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 he's bluffing, he's bluffing, you know, but to him, it, it may not sound right, but to y'all, it may not sound right as well, but, you know, as y'all, as I mean, as y'all are his fans, y'all gonna, you know, obviously, you know, buy it, you know, just like a consumer. You know what I'm saying? Just like how y'all buy things and they persuade you on TV to buy things and stuff like that. Like, oh, this, this stuff is good and this stuff will last long. And then you know, you obviously buy it and you just feel like crap because you know this stuff is worthless now, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of how you know artists get you to buy their CDs, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll, they'll persuade you to buy their CDs, you know, knowing that you know you can't tell if it's crap or garbage or hot because you haven't listened to it, but you know, they'll persuade you to buy it. You know what I'm saying? They'll put a whole bunch of features in there, which obviously some of them do have features in their music. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a 16 slate with special features. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, man. Um, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, man, um, so what y'all think about the music industry, you know, um, is it wicked, is it cursed, not even wicked, is it, 
Is it just pure satanic? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like all these deaths that's happening, you know, like I, I believe like two Celtic players or legends passed away. You know what I'm saying? We lost Tiny. We lost Vaughn. We lost FBG Duck. You know what I'm saying? Um, we just lost a whole bunch of people in a short period of time, you know? And I feel like, you know, death is not supposed to be that way, you know? You know? Like, I believe one person, like, every single day people die, you know? That's just the part of life, you know? Every people, yeah, I mean, not every single, like, as we're talking right now, somebody's probably dead already, you know? So, uh, just like how everybody's born, not everybody's born, but every passing second a baby is born, you know, just like how every passing second a person dies, you know, like, that's just life, that's just how life is, but when people die simultaneously, you know what I'm saying, like, within one month, we already had three deaths, three, you know, and that's crazy, because, like I said, death doesn't work that way. You know, like one person or probably two person die, people die, and then and that's it. But when you have three, four people die in the same month, that's 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 just, mm, that's ringing bells right there, boy. And then uh, DMX put the video. Um, did a little like a little poetry, and uh, you know he made, and this is well way before you know he 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 gave in you know what i'm saying like he was against it at first but obviously you see him now he gave in you know what i'm saying um you know he basically said that i stand strong i am strong um he said the music industry will break you and he basically said that that if you don't play by the industry rules, you will get. Wait, he said that if you don't play by the industry rules. He said something about getting exposed. Something I have to go back, but it was a very touching, you know, video. Um, but you know, I also I'll I'll leave the video in the description box down below. It's a very good, uh, poem. By him, um, but you know, I mean, things happen for a reason, man. Uh, you, you know, if you want to stay on top, you have to do whatever it takes. You know, um, you know to to regain that status. You know, uh, you know, I mean, you see LeBron James every single year. You know, he's he's always on top. You know, what I'm saying like you have other up and coming artists or up and coming basketball players. You know what I'm saying? Like a Zion Williamson, like a Giannis Antetokounmpo, like a, you know, Kawhi Leonard, you know what I'm saying? Like a Luka Doncic, but they're never in the limelight. You know, they're never viewed, they're never viewed as stars. Obviously, you know, they have a long way to go. Some has been in the league for forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, they can build around, you know, Kawhi Leonard, but Kawhi Leonard just has that, you know, type of, you know, personality that doesn't necessarily draw, you know, box office, you know what I'm saying? Like, with LeBron James, you know, for example, with LeBron James, you know, he never went to college, okay? That's a red flag because, uh, obviously, you know, he grew up in a single mother household, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so, you know, he grew up with a, he grew up with a single mother uh, you know, obviously the mom couldn't afford him to go to college, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he came out of high school and straight to the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe, <clears throat> or, you know, I mean, there was some people, I mean, there was other players that didn't go to college too, but I guess they had their reasons. You know, Greg Odom didn't go to, uh, not Greg Odom, uh, Odom. Yeah, Greg Odom, he didn't go to college. He went straight to high school, to the pros, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, his legs gave out on him. Um, so there was a lot of, you know, mystique behind not going to college, you know? 
Like, why didn't you go to, like, why didn't you go to college? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, maybe, you know, college was, wasn't for him or maybe he wasn't academically smart. You know what I'm saying? Because outside of your basketball skills, you have to be smart to obviously, you know, attend, you know, the University of Georgetown or North Carolina, you know what I'm saying? All these big time schools or LSU, you know? Maybe LeBron James wasn't academically smart, you know? Um, but nobody can question his basketball IQ, you know? So tell me what you think about, you know, the music industry. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourself and enjoy it.